Before Naruto, there was Flame of Rekka. Some of you might not know this gem, but like Naruto, Flame of Rekka is also a ninja anime, where instead of they rely on Jutsu, they have these magical weapons that are capable of channeling magic. So here were the facts I gathered for this anime. Flame of Rekka was written by Nobuyuki Anzai. His other works include Rocket Princess, Martian Awakened Romance, and Max M11. The series was composed of 329 chapters and were compiled to 33 volumes. It was adapted into 42 episode anime series that aired on Japan from July 1997 to 1998. The anime was re released on DVD on 2015. Rekka was declared successor of the Hokage clan. Hokage clan are the ninjas who wield mystical objects called Madogu, or elemental weapons. For 400 years they live in peace until Oda Nobunaga ruled and decided to wipe them out of existence. His mother created a time rift to save her child and sent him to the future. On the early episode, Rekka was known to summon his flames, however it's only between his fingertips that he uses to light his fireworks. As a successor of Hokage, Rekka has the power to wield flame dragons. He was the 8th generation, hence he has 8 flaming dragons. If Rekka was to die with regret in his heart, he will become the 9th dragon and will serve the next flame master. Fuku Kurosawa is a tomboyish girl and also one of the protagonists. She has a sizable bust and claims it to be a D-cup. Although she has a tomboyish attitude, in a manga flashback it is shown that she was solitary and antisocial. It was changed when she met her former classmate. In the Philippines her name was changed to Aira Kurosawa. She also speaks in tough accent in a manner of speaking. In the scene where Rekka burns her clothes off, she was seen as topless, but it was cut off due to censorship. Like Fuko, Domon also has a different name in the Philippines. It was changed to Max Ishijima. Before, he has a full head hair. However, due to a suggestion from Fuko, he cut it into its signature mohawk. He has a large and muscular build, making him the tallest of the team. People referred to him as the gorilla. It is revealed in the anime that Daman is an avid sports fan. In episode 17, he shows an extra large t-shirt of professional wrestler and mixed martial artist Anjo Yoji. In episode 29, when Team Hokage are discussing about his winless record in the Uro Buto Satsujin, he mentions the failures of his favorite athletes, namely former sumo wrestler Takonohana Koji losing his matches as well as New York Yankees baseball player Ichiro Suzuki striking out in baseball games. Turkiya is the oldest member of Team Hokage. He had a very dark past which involves his sister being killed in front of his eyes. Since then, he has only one goal. To find and kill the person that murdered his sister. Like the other characters, when it was aired in the Philippines, his name was also changed to Dylan. He has a very dark personality, since he is solely motivated by revenge. Kurei even noted that he was the cruelest member of the team. With Tokia being the oldest, we have Kaoru being the youngest member of the team. Little is known of his early life, but given that in a manga flashback, Kaoru was seen attempting to commit a suicide. It can be assumed that he was a lonely child until he met Kurei. He has a weapon named Kogan Anki or Golden Blade and was considered to be a puzzle Madogu. His weapon can change into 6 different forms with the 6th being the hidden form. Think of it as a Rubik's Cube, I mean not the square itself but the idea of solving the puzzle. Most skilled person was able to transform the Kogane in 10 seconds, while Kaoru only takes 0.6. In the manga, the Kogan Anki was called a magic golden staff. This is a reference to the Chinese novel Journey to the West. In the novel, one of the main characters, Son Wukong, has a weapon that can change its length at will. 
He is known as Lorcan in the Philippine dub. Kage Hoshi, also known as Kagro, is Rekka's mother. She obtained immortality when she sent Rekka an accidentally foray to the future by using a forbidden spell. Kagero was pretty much the ultimate person on the series. She possesses absolute immortality, unable to die, age, get sick, or be permanently wounded, and her mind and soul are as immortal as her biological body. She's immune to mental and spiritual damage. Any injuries she suffers immediately heal, even if she is blown up, completely deleted, or even if she is completely destroyed to the subatomic level, she will still return to life. And her powers is not limited to that. She possesses a perfect natural body, not aging or decaying. She also has a superhuman strength and a very good fighter. Her name in the Philippine version is Emma. She has the innate ability to heal any physical injuries and is referred by Rekka as his Hime or Princess. Yanagi is the reincarnation of Sakura Hime, Princess Sakura, the daughter of Oyakata and Princess of Sawaki clan who lived over 400 years before the series' actual storyline. She is named as Anna in the Philippine version. Conan Morai is the main antagonist of the series. He closely resembles Frankenstein. He was the adaptive father of Karei. He also is the one responsible in making Karei in the path of sadistic bloodthirsty warrior. In the anime series, he was featured as a weak human and he did not get the eternal life that he longed for. However, on the manga, it is different. He was able to get his hands on the Tendo Jigoku, which grants the wearer an eternal life. With this, he gained the ability of regeneration. To sum it all up, more like Kagero, but the male version. Kurei was the brother of Rekka also a flame master. Rekka was a flame dragon master, while Kurei was the phoenix flame master. Koran found Kurei when he was sent back to the future, same like Rekka. Koran raised him to be a mindless tool, capable of doing anything he desires. Koran is holding Kurei's mother as a hostage. He even implanted a bomb in Kurei's mother. When Kurei fell in love with a girl named Kurenai, Koran had Kurenai killed. Kurei has the ability to absorb souls into his flame and use them to produce humanoid flames that fight for him and obey his commands. Kurei absorbed Kurenai, making her his flame servant. On the anime, it was revealed before the ending that he was brought down by his father's car exploding an impact. While on manga, he made peace with Rekka and jumped in the past to kill Nobunaga, fulfilling his revenge for the clan.